Hello, dear friends. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm one minute late. Two, two minutes late. Hello, dear friends. Okay, where's Anna? Anna, where are you? So my throat is a little bit scratchy because we have allergies. So let me go see where Anna is. Ah, there you are. Okay. How are you? My throat is a little bit scratchy. There's a lot of allergies around. So I, I'm going to make this a little bit short. <laughs> so how are you? And let's wait for other people to come in. So it is a very funny day today. The sun comes out and then the sun goes away. And then, okay, happy anniversary, everyone. We have, we're going to have uh, uh, giveaways, but Anna is the one that has all that information. I am, I don't know too much about that because I am not in charge of the media. I don't know how to go about it anyway. Uh, so, uh, let's see. I want to talk about something, something new that I have. I know I have not talked about this. So let me get the, the sun a little bit out of the way. Okay. Hints. One we work with all the time. Uh, uh, must be needles. Like, what can you do without needles? <laughs> anyway, so I am going to do this like easy. I'm making leg warmers. Now, I know that this is looks a little bit big, but my leg is big. My legs are a little bit big. But And then I want this to go all the way up on top of my knee. So it's really not all that wide so and then it's very stretchy see Ooh, okay so what i want to talk about today is that let's see who's here tooth fairy how are you happy 2021 i hope this is a good year because last year was yucky okay oh hints okay you're giving hints yes Okay, what is it that we work with all the time? Uh, hands, <laughs> um, needles, markers. Uh, okay. Happy anniversary. It's our anniversary in two days. So we're going to be having a 10th year anniversary. We have been having our page for our, our website or our work for 10 years. I can't believe it has been that long because it, I, I just love doing what I do. So it really is it, very funny because this is something that I have done all my life. I just haven't hadn't filmed it because I have been teaching, but in places like at Hobby Lobby or at Northside Independent school district in the adult and community education. So that kind of thing. So it's something that I have always been doing, you know, like in Guadalajara, I was doing the fashion shows and selling my stuff in boutiques, which I don't do any longer. It's messy. Anyway, um, I want to talk about, because this is the Fox Club, stitch and we have it it's just that now I'm working in the round see and I'm using the the, uh, the one needle how you work with one needle only so anyway I wanted to show you how that is and then I want to show you stitches that are stretchy that you can use like for hats or gloves, or things like that. 
and see this is stretchy. So there are stitches that are stretchy, but the best way, see this is a little bit stretchy too. So we have a lot of stitches that are stretchy, but they don't come back that easily. So this is a ribbon. See, and it becomes a ribbon because you have pearl stitches that hide. See, that's, that's the stitch and it shows like that. But it, see, it, it stretches because it has pearl stitches in between. So let me show you another one. See, this is stretchy also, but it's, see, it's like a sort of a ribbing, not too much, but, but it is stretchy. And then, yeah, this is the, the wings. So that is stretchy. No, this is the wings. This is, so see, that is stretchy because it has those two pearl stitches. They look like knit stitches in the back. See? So when you have two pearl stitches in between the pattern, it makes it stretchy. Now this is not as stretchy as other stitches because there's too many stitches forming the pattern itself. See, there's too many stitches between here and here. So it's not as stretchy. When you have less amount of stitches in between, then it becomes more stretchy because there are more parts with pearl stitches. So let me, okay, so that is that. So whenever you want to have, like for example, if you have, if you have a stitch that is like so, uh, let me see. Any stitch that is like, like, like so that are not alternated because alternated stitches, you can't do anything about it. See on alternated stitches like so, you can't do anything about it because it's, it's the stitch is, that is there. And there's no way that you can put pearl stitches in between because the next repetition is alternated. So it, you can't do that with a stitch like this. And you cannot do that with a stitch like this because it's also alternated. See, there's one here and one here and one here and one here. So that's going to be difficult to do. But if you have like this one also, this is not easy to do because the stitches are alternated. But if you have, let me see, if you have a stitch like, no, this is also alternated. Let me see. Ah, okay, so this stitch is not alternated. See, it, it's like a column here and a column here and a column here. So it is not alternated. It is like one on top of the other. So you can put pearl stitches in between and the stitch itself doesn't change, but you can put two pearl stitches in between each repetition, even if they, the alternated parts here, this part here does not go over any half of the next one. So therefore, they are columns and you can put pearl stitches in between and then make it stretchy because that's, let's see if I have another one here. Now see, this is alternated. That means that this stitch, this stitch occupies part of the next one. 
So now you can't do the, the pro in between. But you can do it like on this one. I think it's this one. So you can do it on this one because this is one column and this is another one. And this is another one, even though they are like on top, but you can put pearl stitches in between. You can put pearl stitches there. Do you, do you, is it, is it clear what I'm saying? So you know, on the fourth row, it's hard to what? I go to the knit four together. It's hard to do when you are, let's say a little bit like on, when you, when you knit, when you knit four together, yes, it is hard, but it depends on how you knit. I knit throwing my yarn. And when you throw your yarn, the yarn kind of gets stuck on the needle and then it's easy to pull through. When your yarn is on your left hand, you have to go get it. You have to kind of put your needle and go get it. And uh, so it is harder to do. That's why I teach the throw method because when you have the throw method, you can put your needle there and just throw it and pass it through very easily. And it's the same when you purl, well, it's, you can purl four together very easily if you put your needle in front and then the yarn just passes through, but that's the throw method. So that's what I teach because it's easier for a lot of stitches to do it like that. Good morning, Mar Marilyn Salazar, que linda. Never thought of that, what? Okay. Can I, I know, yeah, I guess I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you are able to make these different patterns someday. Yes, you will. We have a lot of beautiful patterns and I'm, I'm very slow at explaining them. And, I try to be compilations. You want some? Because I have a, a box full. I have a box full of, of stitches. And uh, many I threw away because it's, see? Like all these, like all that, which is, has been maybe the last three months because it's really not, it's difficult to keep so many together. Yeah, see on this one, you cannot put ribbing because this stitch eats part of the one before that. So anyway, do you, do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like this, this fox club can be done without ribbing because you just make one pearl to divide one stitch from the other. But I have two pearl stitches in between, therefore it turns into ribbing. And this is necessary for you to know for when you have, you make gloves or hats. Now you can make a hat with a large ribbing because you don't need that much of a, uh, uh, of a stretch if you're careful to measure what it is that you need. But uh, for example, you can make the Trinity stitch on a hat, but you really need to make your swatch and you really need to pay attention to the amount of stitches that go around. Now, if this part here of the hat has a stitch that can be a little bit stretchy, like this, then it's good as long as, as the part that goes around your head is nice and, and, and snuggle, like so.
Oh, oh my, my goodness. So she, Ahmed, ah, happy new year, happy new year. 10th anniversary. Anna has surprises for you, but I don't know what they are because they are surprises for me too. So see this one, for example, this one, see? On the wrong side, you can see that it's stretchy. So when the wrong side looks pretty too. Anyway, they're all there. They're all the stitches are there. And Kitty says, thank you all. Happy New Year. And thanks for making our anniversary super happy. And so, yes. <laughs> and, the, and the year changed because 2020 was not. Well, we traveled a lot in 2020. In March, we went to Portugal. We made it kind of exactly on time to get back before the country closed. Because we flew, I flew directly from Lisbon to New York and they let me go through. But Anna, instead of going from, from, from Lisbon to Madrid, she had to go to Lisbon, Paris, and then take the flight to Mexico anyway. It was a disaster. No, it was only one day because traveling out changed any one day disaster. For, for 18 of traveling. <laughs> so, anyway, happy new year and happy anniversary. Yes, thank you, Marilyn. I see it, it, it has been, and, and then it's amazing how time just goes by. And when you do something that you love, when it's your passion, you don't, count them the years or you don't it's very easy it's very easy to do things so uh thank you very much you are very sweet and we love to have you as our followers and as our friends and the knit fam knit family jen loves hi how are you okay Look at it from Manipur. Oh, oh. How to net from watching you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Oh, uh, we, Ingrid, what? To make your slanted leaf knitting pattern, twisted knit stitch pattern. It's difficult. Yes, it's, it's easy. Just... Just a, and it's a beautiful stitch. Let me see if I have it here. The slant of leaves. Let me see if I have it here. And it is just a beautiful. Uh, yes, I think it's this one, isn't it? I think it's this one. Now let me tell you something that's important. See how how it is because you have stitches that go to the front and back. So when you mess up. It's very difficult to pass your needle through the stitches again. So use a laugh lifeline. So when you put your when your stitches on or on your needle, pass a different color thread or yarn, pass it through, you know, like hitting on your needle, pass it through all your stitches. And like that, if you mess up, you just Go back to your lifeline, and your lifeline is going to hold all of your stitches in place. And, and then you're done. This, yes, I have a stitch here. See, this stitch, this, you can put, see how they are like columns? You can put pearl stitches in between this you know, each repetition. So between here and here, and in between here and here, you can use this stitch for hats and gloves and all that kind of thing. And you know what's very nice to do also in the round? Because this is going to be a light warmer. It's from the Knit Crate Yarn. 
this is going to be a light warmer. And then I love my needles. I love my needles. It's from, uh, oh, okay, just a second. So uh, let me, let me, it's the, from the Mindful Collection from Knitter's Pride. And uh, I like to buy my things from uh, Laurel Hill. And we have, I think Anna put a, 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 a link to their site. And I love these needles because they're so light and then they're pointy enough. You know, you don't have to struggle with putting your needle like through three stitches. So these, this is very easy to do because it, it is not as blunt as other needles. So I just love them because I also, it's, it's very soothing for my hands. They're not heavy. Anyway, uh, if you, you can make a scarf in the round and then the scarf becomes like, like, you know, like thick and it's warmer. So instead of making a very wide scarf, make, make one that's in the round. Either you use like 16 inch uh, long needles. I'm using a 20, or I think it is, because I'm knitting with the, with the magic loop. So I have, you know, a part here and a part there, so. Okay, so uh, what else? Uh, see, this one has like two ears. I'll, I'll have to explain that later. So please tell me what it is that you want me to talk about. Happy New Year and thanks for making our, oh, I see, thank you, Anna, for telling people that how nice we feel. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. I use your things and and uh, safe distance <laughs> and all the good stuff that we need to do. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye-bye.